I'm in heaven now. Oh, well, I'm in heaven in honour of being Super Bowl Sunday. We're coming up a taste of America in the kitchen today. Tara Walker, author of Good Food, No Stress, joins us. And now we're turning our attention to pulled pork. Oh, I'm really yes. excited to actually be doing this cooking segment with you because I've always wanted to make some sort oh, of good. a pulled pork sandwich. OK. Don't have any recipe. OK, brilliant, so. brilliant. So, perfect. Well, look, it is, it's time-consuming, but it's easy to do, if you okay, know what I mean. That's it, I'm not going to do that. No, 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 no. What I mean is, it genuinely, there's not much work to it. It's just you need to plan it ahead. It's not really okay. something you're going to just kind of pop Pull it. together. Yeah, exactly. It is exactly. so, Pull together. <laughs> it is so worth it. So I have a Pulled few pork. nice spices here. It is worth it. It totally is worth it. So I have cumin, black pepper, allspice, a little bit of nutmeg, um, some smoked paprika. Um, like you can go with any spices you want. The smoked paprika are, is, and the cumin are probably the main two that okay. you'd want to go for. Um, and just rub that together and we're going to pop it into the shoulder now. So for me, a shoulder of pork is a two day job, maybe even three days. So the one we're gonna have a taste of I made yesterday morning and I marinated the night before. If you see, I actually... It takes that long. Well, it's because this marinade, this dry rub, is worth giving time to, okay. if you see what I mean. And then when you've cooked it, you let it rest and pull it apart and then you let it sit in the juices that it's been cooked in. So that's why it takes time. But having said that, all of those steps are very easy to do, you know? Yes, and this is where, if you're ever out in a restaurant, you order pulled pork, and it's absolutely succulent and delicious. It's yeah. because time You've was given taken. the time, yeah. Okay. But uh, look, this is that's the rub done, okay? Done. Then no, that's done. easy enough. Easy yeah. Peasy. And here's that. some orange zest. Again, optional. And this is a shoulder of pork, obviously. Now I have a smaller one here, um, so it fits into my pot, but you can go with a full shoulder. That'll take a little bit longer. And the handy thing about it is you could cook it for three to four hours on a higher temperature if you want it in a hurry or you can cook it at 120 for six or seven hours, okay. you know what I mean? So it's one of those. And then I'm just pouring a can of cider in. That's yours from last night. <laughs> yeah, well, actually I had it this morning on the way in. Did you? I was wondering yeah, about your just, good form. He was a bit there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm kind of swaying there a minute ago. <laughs> yeah, this is so, usual. We're going to pop it into the oven now. Okay. Beauty. And that's it. Like so, there wasn't much work there at all. No. Okay. No, absolutely. So not. Let's it's time consuming in. in terms of the time to cook it, but putting it together is easy peasy. Sure. Exactly. I like the idea. As Tara was saying, though, one twenty for six hours, just leave it for the day. Yeah. If you have Smell. to go off to work or something, you know. Yeah. Tara. So now, before the big reveal of the pulled pork, I'm just going to show you a few nice little accompaniments okay. for it. Okay. So I have some red onion, which has just been sitting in some boiling water to soften it down a little bit. So it's lightly, lightly pickled red onion that we're gonna do. So get rid of the hot water. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna pop it into this bowl. That's a nice little tip, that no time. Yeah, it does, because you know the way red onion can be a bit sharp, you know? Yeah. Mm. But like, if you leave it too pickled, then it loses the little bit of sharpness yeah. that you do want. So a little bit of lime juice over it now. Nice. And let that sit for a couple of minutes. And that's quite nice because it, the, the pork is rich and it's a bit, on the fatty side, like not really mm. fatty, but a little bit. Oh, it is. So yeah. Fun. So <laughs> it is. So it is let's cut through dish, that with this little lightly pickled uh, red onion. Okay. So you leave it in for let's say six hours at one twenty or four hours at one eighty. Mm -hmm. Yes. Take it out. Pull it apart. Do you it, put it back yeah. in again or just leave exactly. it? Exactly. So let it rest for a little while, just for a little while, because it's also very hard to pull it apart. I prefer to do it with yeah. my hands with some gloves on. You can do it with two, two forks, forks, but I find that I prefer getting getting in there myself. Yeah, you know, oh, I do that. I would use hands the hands. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we've already pulled this apart, and we popped it back into its juices yesterday evening. Oh, but it's all sitting it's in like the Christmas juices. Morning. The cider and the herbs. Yeah, and, and spices. so it's all it's releasing its own fat as well. Oh, wow. And it's uh, so when it comes out, it's just a big hunk of meat. Basically, it falls apart. You pick off any fat that you don't want in there obviously like there's a tiny bit of fat there but that's okay but you don't mm. want the really heavy yeah. stuff and then you let it sit in its own juices overnight if possible or for a few hours and then just reheat it gently in the oven for how long to the just till it's reheated. hot yeah so i mean i heated it here at it's 200 degrees for 10 minutes yesterday i or the other day i reheated it for you know 20 minutes at okay a, a short so it's already lower cooked, temperature. So there's no danger exactly it's only it just in. to get the juices yeah. nice and warm and get it all Yum. so you can see it here and let's serve it up now. So we have a brioche bun. Okay. Honestly, if you just gave me a corner of a room, <laughs> 10 minutes. Oh, so you've got brioche, you get a couple of baps. Exactly. And I then a little brioche. bit of shredded lettuce is important. So if you want to do little jam or iceberg or one of those kind of crispy lettuce, they're important. And then a hot sauce. Um, I don't know if you remember, I did a homemade hot sauce on That's the show right, last yeah. year, it was lovely. Um, but you can use a shop bought. I have sriracha here with me. But actually, 
you nearly don't need the hot sauce if you're not into spice because mm. this nearly has its own it's sauce. Very juicy, you see what yeah. I mean. Yeah. So let's get that in. Mother. It's very moist. You wouldn't need any sauce on no, it. No, really. absolutely. Although not. I do like, I quite like the barbecue sauce that they put on. The barbecue sauce yeah. is delicious with this. But you're nearly getting a barbecuey flavour here because of the spices that were in the dry rub. Mm -hmm. So I, that's why I prefer probably I'm going to go with a hot sauce if I'm going to go with any sauce at all. Oh yeah, we'll put on the hot sauce. Yeah, you don't okay, like hot sauce. No, no hot sauce for me. Okay. I love hot sauce. We so. like it. We like it just the pork, you know. <laughs> we know like it the hot sauce. <laughs> and I'm very delicate constitution. <laughs> delicate is not a word I would have chosen. For Excuse you. me, it's one of the words most used about me. Delicate. Really? Yes. Delicate little flower. Yeah, yeah exactly. So just be careful because for a delicate person that might be hard. <laughs> hard okay. to okay, be okay. You barely lift it up. And, and is there hot Laura, sauce in that? Yeah, oh, we'll get you some hot oh, sauce. Next. Thank you. So Thank you have the so hot I'm just sauce using sriracha here. Not too much now. Okay. okay. The very best Thank look. You. I'm going in. <gasps> oh, Oops. Wow. Sorry, mind your Tara, This looks absolutely gorgeous. There we go. match. Thank you so much, Sharon. Enjoy. All of Today's recipes from Tara are on uh, our website and in her book also. How is it? <laughs>